At the moment, the idea of building a permanent base on a foreign celestial body is more present than ever. However, in view of the countless plans for colonizing the Moon or Mars, we should not forget one thing. In truth, we have long since succeeded in setting a firm foot in the gigantic expanses of space. In the course of the 62 ISS expeditions completed so far, dozens of space travelers have turned their backs on our earthly home for months on end. Together with you, we would like to take a closer look at the history of the International Space Station and highlight the breathtaking milestones that have already been achieved on mankind's cosmic outpost. Excited about the groundbreaking discoveries and distinctive spectacles in the universe? Then consider subscribing to our channel to join us on our journey to the greatest mysteries of the universe from now on. Also, feel free to leave us a thumbs up to show that we can keep you excitingly informed with the content of our videos. The History of the ISS As early as the early 1960s, NASA's leadership dreamed of building a permanently manned station in space. This thought process seemed all the more ambitious when we remember that at that time, not even the first moon landing had been completed. A few years and the launch of the Soviet space station, Salyut 1 later, Skylab was the first U.S. space station to set off into the cosmos. Although the eight-month operation of Skylab which involved nine astronauts, was anything but a failure. Those responsible subsequently turned their attention to the development of the space shuttle. In the early 1980s, the construction of an inhabited space station came back into focus. However, the then-proclaimed Freedom Project was never to be put into practice. Instead, at the beginning of the 90s, a concept was worked out that would have seemed unthinkable in the recent past. The USA was to develop a large space station together with Russia. The end of the Cold War had paved the way for close cooperation between the former arch enemies. But it didn't stop there. By 1998, 13 more countries had thrown their hats into the ring, leaving nothing standing in the way of the International Space Station becoming a reality. And today, almost 25 years later, the ISS boasts some unique titles. Accordingly, it's not only the longest lived, but also the largest space station in the history of mankind. Moreover, the ISS is also the largest man-made object orbiting the Earth. However, the financial outlay involved in the ongoing construction of the space station was immense. By 2018, the operating and construction costs amounted to over 100 billion euros. 18 years earlier, the galactic inauguration ceremony had again taken place. Since November 2, 2000, the ISS has been permanently inhabited by astronauts. Research in Space In view of the fact that more than 3,000 experiments have now been carried out on the ISS, a fundamental question arises. What advantages does research in space have over that on Earth? Or to put it another way, what do we need the nearly 350-foot-long, 440-ton structure for, anyway? Well, first of all, we should bear in mind that, due to its location, certain conditions prevail on the ISS that simply do not exist on our home planet. This starts with the installation of meteorological and astronomical instruments, which are much easier to mount outside the space station. The fact that biological and physical test samples can be exposed to the conditions of the cosmos for longer periods of time, also naturally plays an important role. The test series, which are completed inside the ISS, are based primarily on the condition of approximate weightlessness, so-called microgravity. But the participating space travelers are by no means just silent observers. In fact, the astronauts also repeatedly become active participants in studies. For example, when new ways of investigating stress and space medicine need to be explored. To understand the details of the ISS occupants' daily work, let's take a look at some representative research examples. The materials installed on the outside of the space station are analyzed from the point of view of the influence of space conditions. This includes, for example, the exploration of biological samples in a vacuum, under the influence of cosmic radiation and under the effects of enormous temperature fluctuations. Of course, the astronauts on board 
do not close their eyes to their galactic environment either. In detail, the ISS has various astronomical instruments at its disposal, which, for example, investigate the fluctuations of solar radiation as well as cosmic rays. With regard to physics research, the International Space Station has the advantage that atomic particles remain there longer in an observable volume. As a result, more precise investigations of special and general relativity are possible. In addition, the growth of protein crystals in near-gravity conditions proves to be significantly less complicated than on Earth. This is particularly important for the development of drugs that influence enzymes or proteins. As is well known, a long-term stay in space is always accompanied by some unpleasant physical effects. Living for months in microgravity leads to bone and muscle atrophy, among other things. On the one hand, the study of the affected astronauts will help to identify comparable diseases on Earth, such as osteoporosis. On the other hand, the aim is to find ways to reduce physical suffering in space in order to make longer space flights of the future as healthy as possible. Scientific Milestones With all the countless experiments that have already been conducted outside and on board the ISS, it's not so easy to filter out suitable examples. However, in order to give you an authentic insight into the exciting work of space explorers, we have selected four milestones below that demonstrate the importance of research work in space. First and foremost is the creation of the so-called Bose-Einstein condensate. After the corresponding experiment, Cold Atom Laboratory was flown to the ISS in 2018. The experts announced two years later that they had successfully produced the mentioned condensate, often called the fifth state of matter. We are dealing with a system of indistinguishable particles. The majority of these particles is in the quantum mechanical state. The properties that astonishingly emerge from this are superfluidity, or in other words, a state in which a liquid loses all internal friction, superconductivity, whereby the electrical resistance of materials approaches zero when the temperature drops below the transition temperature, and suprasolidity, which means that the properties of superfluid and solid bodies are combined. Furthermore, ISS researchers found ways to identify microbes in real time in space without having to send the tiny creatures to Earth for study. This revolutionary breakthrough was made possible in 2017 when the first ever sample sequencing process was completed entirely aboard the space station. In turn, it's thanks to the use of the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer that more than 100 billion cosmic particles have been studied to date. The particle detector which was installed in 2011, is also expected to help us track down the mysterious dark matter. Although this invisible force has a significant influence on the spectacles in the universe, especially on the speed at which stars move around galaxy centers, its existence has still not been officially confirmed. As mentioned earlier, the instruments of the ISS also regularly let their technical gaze wander to our home planet. Viewed from a literally different angle, observation from Earth orbit holds the potential to understand the natural phenomena of our planet and their developments more precisely than ever before. For example, the data collected so far has already helped to revolutionize weather observation and provide us with previously unknown insights into atmospheric changes. Strange Flying Object even though most of us will never be granted the privilege of boarding the ISS, this does not mean that it's not possible for us to admire the famous space station up close. In fact, the ISS webcam allows us to marvel at our blue home planet from the vantage point of a space traveler, live and available 24 hours a day. However, some of these clips have already captured a number of puzzling objects that should make for controversial headlines on the web. Let's just take a look at this elongated white something that stands out clearly against the background of the Earth. And indeed, we still cannot say with absolute certainty what kind of structure we are dealing with here. These and other images feed the theories that our terrestrial home has been observed by extraterrestrial research probes for quite some time. Some creative minds believe that the responsible persons always interrupt or switch over the transmission of the ISS stream as soon as such a flying object comes into the camera's field of vision. Afterwards, the corresponding recordings are thought to be removed from NASA's archives clandestinely. Of course, 
Such assumptions cannot be proven. From the official side, it's said that the alleged sensational sightings can be explained by simple means. According to this, many a flying saucer was explained to be nothing more than a piece of space junk in the background. And now we want your opinion. What do you think about the interesting history of the ISS and the groundbreaking experiments being conducted aboard the space station? As always, drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Are you in the mood for more exciting contributions on the topic of space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.